I'm going to talk about doing a guillotine choke in self-defense situations. Um, in jiu-jitsu, a lot of times you can jump in and pull guard, which is wrap your legs around them. Um, I don't recommend that necessarily in self-defense. I'm just going to show you some different ways that you can finish a guillotine choke or where you can go with a guillotine choke in a real life situation, okay? So one of them is if I come in and I pick her up, this is one spot she can get a guillotine choke. She's going to have to work her, you know, her hips off my shoulder a little bit. She wants to get her hand to her other hand. Make a grip, I like hand over, hand over wrist grip like this, and she wants to try and squeeze, okay? Hold on. <laughs> she wants to pull her arm through up to the sky and then put my head in her back pocket. There you go. That's how you finish the choke. You want to pull like you're doing the Pledge of Allegiance. You want like Pledge of Allegiance, pull all the way up, and then you want to put their head in your back pocket to actually finish them because you're creating that pressure against the back of their head again like you want for pretty much every choke. Um, so that's one situation you can get it. I, I recommend if somebody picks you up here, you can wrap your legs around them. One thing you want to always do is break somebody's posture down. So she wants to rip me down and like rip my posture downwards because I'm not as strong here. Okay, and then from here in a real life situation, she can back her hips up just a little bit, knee me in the face. You know, finish and while she's choking me as tight as she can and then knee me in the face, see those things. Um, if I try to take her down, she's gonna want to sprawl her feet way back so I can't even touch her legs. And then from here again, she can knee me in the head and try and choke me and stand back up real quick. And if I do actually, you know, get into this position and take her down to the ground, she grab me up. Boom. So, one, for the full choke, okay. So if I get her to the ground, right here, she want to do the same thing. Wrap her legs around me now, pull, pull her hand through, put my head in her back pocket, and that's how you're gonna finish it. Those are a few different situations. Um, so like I said, somebody picks you up, and also, if I just come in to attack or like a takedown, she can, one thing we like to do is pop somebody in the ear to push their head to the side, smash the motor, wrap it up, then squeeze, try and finish it. You know, like I said, you just have to depend on what they're doing if they take you down. Wrap your legs around them. If they're trying to get you in that position, you know, and you're still standing, back your hips up, knee them in the face, drop your feet all the way back into a sprawl, knee them in the face. Those different things would be ways that you can finish that in a self-defense situation. And then, again, you hold that for, depending on the fight, five to 15 seconds maybe in this choke. If they're really struggling and they don't have it totally tight, then that might take that long to put them to sleep. And um, in that meantime, obviously, a couple of knees to the head will help aid in that, and then if you have to finish it fully, you can hold it as long as needed if it's a life threatening situation, they're trying to take your life. So there's some tips on using a guillotine choke in a self-defense situation. Subscribe for more, and see you next time.